Here's an important segment for parents. Tooth decay in children continues to be a major health problem. By the age of five, roughly 60% of children will get a cavity, but tooth decay, aka those mouth monsters, can be prevented. Joining us with some simple, practical, and unique tips is President of the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry, Dr. Robert De La Rosa. Good morning, Good Doctor. morning, Stephanie. Thanks for having me. So how serious is tooth decay for school-aged children in our area? It's very serious. In fact, it's one of the top chronic diseases in the country. It's five times more common than asthma, to put that in perspective. It's a huge problem. Um, according to a 2013 survey in Florida, 43% of third graders experience decay, treated or untreated. And here's the other problem with untreated decay, is it can lead to other serious illnesses like ear infections, sinus infections. So we know there's that connection there too. So it's a, it's a significant problem, Stephanie. So what are some of the causes when it comes to cavities and tooth decay? Because I know some people will say, hey, I brush my teeth three times a day, I floss, I do everything possible to keep them clean, but yet still end up with these cavities and tooth decay. Why is that? What are we doing wrong? Well, it's actually because it's a rather complex phenomenon. It's certainly removing the plaque of the bacteria off the teeth. That has to be the first step. Because you have a tooth, you have substrate, which is the food or the drinks that we consume that have cavity producing potential. And then you have the bacteria. So removing the bacteria is by far the most efficient way to get started. Now, some children or at a higher risk for developing decay. Like for instance, some systemic illnesses can affect the way they, how much saliva they have. So if you have a drier mouth, then you're gonna have more of a tendency to get decay. So it is a, a pretty complex phenomenon, but it all starts with prevention, that two minutes twice a day brushing and flossing those teeth that are touching. So when it comes to these little mouth monsters, what can we really do? I mean, especially as parents, how can we help our kids avoid that tooth decay? What would you say the first thing? Well, the first we thing do? we need to do is we need to establish that dental home by your child's first birthday. So we want to have that continuous, comprehensive relationship with your local pediatric dentist or dentist so that we can educate our families, our parents, grandparents, caretakers on how to really keep those teeth clean and the right snacks and not only what we snack on, but when we snack. So we want to really get that education out there about prevention. And I know sometimes it can be a little hard to get the kids to just maybe want to brush their teeth at all. So any ideas for the parents to just really encourage healthy brushing with their kids? Good, uh, sure. You care. want to make it fun and less of a chore. So the, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry's website, mychildrenteeth.org, has a number of resources in that area. Along, we have our Mouth Monster campaign with our little monster figures. I think you've seen those that can really engage the families into making it less of a chore and more fun. I'm, I'm the father of twins, so for us, it was all four of us in the bathroom at the same time. We'd brush my son's teeth, brush my daughter's teeth, and just make it a family engagement. And it's that early routine, those early habits that really go a long way in terms of prevention. And when should our children be seeing a dentist for the first time, by the way? At what age, Dr. Daly? Yeah, so age one, by that first birthday is when we want to see our children. It, by that time, they've already developed some of the baby teeth, which, by the way, here's a really common myth. People think that just because baby teeth fall out, they're not important. That couldn't be further from the truth because your baby teeth help determine the history of your, your dental history as you get your permanent teeth in there. And a lot of times, I can have a 13 or 14 year old teenager that is still losing baby teeth. So we want to make sure we take care of these baby teeth. They help jaw development, they help guide the permanent teeth in, and we want to make sure those baby teeth are really healthy. Good information to know. Anywhere you want to send us online where we can learn yeah, more. Uh, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry's website, mychildrenteeth.org. Thank Check you so much. Check out our Mouth Monster campaign. <laughs> so great having you on the show. And to learn more about healthy oral care, head to our website, fox4morningblend.com. All right, no one knows fashion better than the team over at Ease Fashion Police, right? Up next, we chat with one of their hosts about what we can expect this spring and how you could win $10,000 worth of wardrobe must-haves.